All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Be Adventurous. Today we are in Burleson, Texas at the Yogi Berry Jelly Stone Park water park i should say it's 105 degrees today my wife says that it's supposed to get to 110 we'll see we need to go and get into the water and we're going to show you guys how much fun you guys can have here in burleson texas don't forget like and subscribe let's go pirate cove is the water park nestled right next to Yogi Bear. It offers a splash of fun for everyone. When you reserve a TP cabin or wagon at Yogi Bear Jellystone Park in Burleson, Texas, you gain complimentary access to Pirate Cove. It's just one of the many exciting perks that come with your stay. For those who wish to experience Pirate Cove without an overnight stay at Jellystone, they offer general admission. On Saturdays and Sundays, tickets are $28.99 per person, while Monday through Friday, they're priced at $26.99. They also have family packs and group rates available for added convenience. The family pack is available for $95.96 on the weekend, so that's $95.96, and $87.96 during the weekdays. For larger families or groups, they offer a family five pack of $124.95 on the weekends and $114.95 on the weekdays. To learn more about Pirate Cove, please check out the link in the description. Hey guys, so welcome to cabin 170. And this is just one that is called family with one bedroom. It's good for up to 10 people. You have so many options when you're here. You have, you can have teepees, wagons, cabins. So you have all kinds of options we're here, but in this time we're here, eight of us. Um, so we chose this one, it's up to 10 people. So let me show you, it's really cute. Welcome home. So you see we have a little screen porch with tables and four chairs so that when once the uh, heat or the sun goes down we might be able to enjoy this place but for now it's about a hundred and three degrees so we better be in the AC so let me show you look Texas star door I like it all right coming in so this is our cabin for this weekend. We have here the living room set. It doesn't have a really a table, but it has this bar so the, the bar top with the bar stools. You, as you can see, somebody already started the party here. So I'm working, so I'll join them in a minute. So then follow me, full refrigerator, kitchenette, uh, cooked up then we have the bathroom with a shower there's not much we can see here but right there and then here's the master bedroom master bedroom comes with a queen um, bed it has two TVs so there's I mean I don't think we're gonna watch them anyways but we have them then we have and we have bunk beds over here so we're still debating who's gonna be sleeping here, but we have plenty of room for the whole family. All right, well, let's go to the second, or I will say the half floor up. So as you can see, two more bedrooms. I think we can still sleep about four or five people up here. Kids love it. You can see Ceci is choosing her own bed. She doesn't know that she's gotta sleep down there, but it's a really nice place, it's really cozy. Love it, it really feels like a cabin. So this is it, guy, but like I told you, there's so many options for you and your family. You just have to go and see what you wanna try. We really wanted to go in one of the teepees, but it wouldn't work for our family today. In addition to its water attractions, the park also features a pirate-themed miniature golf course for some land-based fun. If it's your first time visiting Yogi Bear Park, we recommend downloading their app. It's a handy tool for managing your activities, some of which require online sign-up only. The app allows you to view up-and-coming activities and receive reminders for the activities you have already signed up for. This is the biggest Yogi Bear Jellystone Park, and I believe it. You have plenty of spaces for RVs. We're actually seeing people that seems like they live here that 
How cool is that? There's just so many different places where you can stay. RV spots or the cabins or the teepee. Everybody's on a golf cart. You definitely need to rent one. This is so big. You do not want to be walking all those big distances. If you have an RV, you definitely want to try this place. So you will have so much fun, especially your kiddos, okay? As my wife mentioned, renting a golf cart is pretty much a necessity in this expansive park, which spans 125 acres. The park offers two sizes of golf carts, a four-seater and a six-seater. Given the size of our family, we opted for the six-seater, which set us back $227.32 for two days. In my view, the price was a bit steep, almost equivalent to renting a car for a couple of days. But then again, traversing the entire 125 acres on foot isn't exactly feasible. But let's set that aside. After all, it's all about ensuring the kids have a blast. Our absolute favorite activity was the Hey 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 Ride. This delightful journey takes you around the park in a trailer with the highlight being the water guns. If you're planning on this ride and think you're gonna stay dry, think again. You are guaranteed to be thoroughly drenched from head to toe, but given the Texas heat wave, it's a refreshing experience. To join this ride, head over to the Activities Barn, which is a treasure trove of fun for kids. It offers glow mini golf, rock painting, bear roll train rides, yoga with Yogi Bear, picnics with a bear, craft time, and even a dance break where kids can groove to songs from Coco Melon. Okay guys, we're having a blast. So far, I had to tell you, my favorite activity was the Hey Hey Ride Wet Wet or something like that but it was so great. Uh, everybody got on and everybody was having uh, so much fun. So whenever you come here, you that's a must do, okay? And one other thing I wanted to tell you is this park has just so many little sections where the kiddos can have some fun. So right now, this is so nice because it's uh, got, a, got a lot of trees and we're kind of drawing out from our wet ride and the kiddos are playing everybody's having a good time we're gonna go back into the water in a few minutes but there's just so much to do here but there's like 50 activities that come already included when you stay here in the resort um some other ones you can pay but there's like there's like three to twenty dollars so depending on what you want to do you could also get a pass there's two one that is 25 and one that is 35 to include like a bundle kind of deal I didn't want to take it because it's just so much to do. Uh, we might do one or one thing of the paid ones, but you don't really need it. So we need more time to get all the stuff that you can do here. But anyways, we're going to continue having some fun. Please let us know in the comments if we missed something that you really wanted us to show you. Um, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. Please, please, please. We're trying to get to 300, 500, 1,000 really. But just subscribe, share, comment and just help this channel if you please could. And don't forget to be adventurous. Vámonos, let's go. Saludos a todos en México, en Chihuahua, que aquí están visitándonos mi tía y Vicky, mi hermano y Omarcito. Eh, están teniendo un tiempo increíble. No se les olvide ser aventureros. Vámonos. The park offers a wide array of lodging options. They recently introduced glamping teepees, although they weren't quite the right fit for us. The Conestoga wagons were another option we considered. We particularly liked the way how all the wagons were arranged around a fire pit, a lovely touch that we might explore the next time. 
The grain bin cabins also caught our eye. Park offers a variety of themed cabins, including a pirate ship vacation cabin, two bedroom cabins, and one bedroom cabins. They also have bunk houses and RV sites, which you already seen. Tent sites are available too, so if you prefer not to opt for any of the provided lodging options, you're welcome to bring your own tent. While that's not something via adventurers would do, I am sure there are plenty of adventurous souls out there who would relish the opportunity. This was my least favorite part of the park because there was an unfortunate incident involving one of the goats and my daughter. The goat headbutted my daughter. So a word of caution to parents, always supervise your little ones when they're interacting with these animals. That particular goat doesn't know how close it came to being transformed into Virria Tacos. And you can also play laser tag and that is also included on the free activities package. The activity that Little V Adventurous and Vicky are participating in is known as the gel blaster activity. Just a heads up, if you're allergic to bees or simply want to avoid a sting, you might want to consider visiting the park in Tyler, Texas instead. I mention this because I experienced a bee sting during our stay at Jellystone and another visitor was stung in the Lazy River, so be aware that bees are quite prevalent in the area. Now we're doing all the activities for the big kids. So little bee adventurers, Obed and my cousin Vicky are doing all the activities for them. So we just finished with laser tag and we're uh, doing the gel blaster. So basically you can see from here because they're protected, but there's all kinds of activities for them. And right after this, we're gonna go and have some family uh, party for everybody, like all ages. So we're having so much fun, it's still super hot, but you know, be adventurous, that's the way we do it. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share it. Please help us out to grow this family channel. And let's get out of here before I get shot, okay? Don't forget to be adventurous. Let's go, vamonos! In summary, Yogi Bear Jellystone Park in Burleson, Texas is a fantastic destination for a family outing. Children of all ages will have a wonderful time and there is something for everyone, even the kids who are 40 years young. Um, the park offers a range of activities including catch and release fishing. If you've made it to the end of this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. We are on the road to reaching 500 subscribers. Once we hit that milestone, we will be raffling away an iPhone of our choosing, of course. Uh, so go ahead and like, subscribe, share this video to help us reach our goal even faster. Don't forget to be adventurous.